All right, we're rolling. We got Miss Honey in here with us today. Miss Honey, we want to thank you for uh, being a part of RB3 TV again. This is your second go round, correct? Yes. All right, so what we didn't do last time, we didn't do the personality game. All right, so we're going to kick it off with your personality game this time. It's uh, 21 questions. Okay. All right, that I have concocted in my uh, imaginary brain. All right, uh, it's just... Uh, but um, so we're gonna kick it off, get started with the number one question, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, get the angle right. You look good, by the way. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so let's get it cracking because uh, you're gonna get some feedback on these questions now, so I want you to answer to the best of your ability, be I honest, will. okay? I will. All right. Look like some mosquitoes tore your neck up on the side, but I ain't gonna, you know, <laughs> that's neither here nor there, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, next time you might need to wear a turtleneck. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, number one question Which is the better artist to you out of Glorilla or Sexy Red? Uh, well, okay, Glorilla is pretty good. Like, I like Glorilla. I know more of her music than Sexy Red. Like, mm -hmm. the only thing I know is Sexy Red is Pound Town. Just love Pound Town. Right, <laughs> like, that's all look, I know. That's it? But Sexy Red, I mean, she real pretty. But Glorilla got some good music. So, I'm going to have to go with Glorilla. Go with Glow? Yeah. Big Glow, not the little one? Okay. Big Glow. <laughs> all right. Sexy Red real pretty to you? Yeah. Yeah. She pretty to me, yes. Uh, she might be skinty, but she is. Okay, all right, all right, okay. All right, so moving on to number two, all right? The number two question is, name two things that Mark Zuckerberg owns. Who is that? Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. A car and a house. <laughs> well, we, we know you own that. <laughs> So you know you like that. So what social media apps are you on? Uh I have Instagram. Uh I have Snapchat. Um TikTok. Uh I do have a kick, but I don't use it. Uh and meet me. That's it. Okay. All right. So, one of those apps Mark Zuckerberg owns. Is it Snapchat? No. I think he was in the process of trying to own Snapchat, but he owns Instagram and Facebook. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, moving on to number three. What is your birth sign? I'm an Aquarius. Aquarius, what is it? Fe February? February 18th, yeah. Oh, okay, alright, alright. Anything you want to say to the Aquarians out there? Hey, Aquarius gang. Okay, alright. Okay, number four question. Do you believe in marriage? Of course. Okay. You see yourself being married someday? Of course. Marriage is a beautiful thing. I love marriage. Okay. Alright. Number five. Do you think a prostitute is more loyal to a man than a woman that works a real job is to her husband or man? Oh, I don't know. I don't, uh, no. You don't think so? No, I think they're strong for doing what they're doing, but I don't think they would be like, Maybe they pimp because they don't want to get beat up. Yeah. But, like, a man, because sometimes when women are prostitutes, they do that because they've been hurt by so many men. Mm hmm So, I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know. Okay. All right. Okay. That's cool. What's one of your most embarrassing moments? Okay. Um... One time, I got a little bit too tipsy, and I decided to go down the water slide. Mm -hmm. And 
as you can see, I'm a big girl. So I went down the water slide and I fell into the pool, but I didn't just fall into the pool. I slipped out the pool and went in the air and on the ground. Onto the cup, you can't. You slid in the pool and came out. Yes. Oh shit. At a party, and everybody was just laughing and stuff. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> that, yeah. I wish I could have been there to record. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. Number seven. What's a major regret in your life? Um. Losing the trust of my parents. Okay. That was something I regret real, real bad. And I'm trying to earn it back right now. Respect. It's going to be hard, but I'm working on it because I love my parents. You know, they adopted me. Mm -hmm. And they deserve to be respected and stuff. But gotcha. they don't deserve to. The way I was treating them, that was wrong. And I want to turn it around because I love my parents. So I really regret losing my trust from my parents. I feel that. I feel that. Much respect. And I hope everything works out. But we will talk about that in the interview. Okay. Uh, number eight. What's a fetish of yours? Ooh. Oh. Well, I have a lot. Throw them out there. Um, Throw one. I got to think of a good one. <laughs> Should I say it? I don't know if I should say it. Say it. Uh, okay, my mind right now is telling me to say it, but I don't, I don't know what's going on. Can I think about it and come back to the question? Yeah, you, can I you, think about you it? Know it? Do you know it? Do you know it? No, I'm trying to find the. I'm trying to find. You say you got a lot of them. I know, but I don't know which one to say. Say it one. Say it one. What is a fetish? Fetish is like a sexual desire or something. Uh, oh. oh, next time I have to say what is it? If you oh, don't know okay, what it okay, is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like to I like to be choked. Uh, I like pulling. I, I like to pull out of hair. So, so fetishes is like okay. You, do you want to pee on somebody? Oh, do you yeah. want, okay. Do you want any kind of? Do you do you want like 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 my fetish? I have a fetish. I want to eat breakfast off my wife booty. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just something. I, I don't know why, but it gotta be my wife though. I just want to cook breakfast, put it on my booty, and eat it. But somebody that done it already. Done. I wanna. I, I like to wrap a fruit roll up around a man's penis mm -hmm. and give him head and like suck the fruit roll up too. Okay, you like doing that, or you want? Oh, I so you done? It. I've done it before, but I won't oh. do it again. Okay, so you really like that? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I got you. What flavor fruit roll up? Probably watermelon. Okay, you pretty. You kind of freaky. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So, okay. Um, whipped cream on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We are gonna move on. Okay. <laughs> Number nine. What's on your bucket list? Name two things. Uh, to become a nurse. Mm -hmm. And. To go to Africa. I've always wanted to go to Africa. Okay. All right. Sounds good. And we pressed the time, so I'm kind of, you yeah. know, moving the questions. Number 10, do you believe in? Oh, yeah. Oh, I asked you that already. So, we'll skip number 10 and go to number 11. Do you regret anything you've ever posted online? What was it? Why or why not? Uh, yes. I regret I had posted a big old paragraph about my sister after me and her got into a big old argument. Damn. So pretty much kind of exposed the family yeah. business. Yeah. A lot of people have done that. Yeah. Damn. Damn social media. Mm -hmm. All right. So moving on. Next question. Number 12. Uh, what's qualifications for a man to get your, your goodies? He gotta be real, a real, a real, a real man. Um, not one of those, not one of those that always wanna like 
uh, re record it and stuff. I need like a real trust or like a, a a cool, a real cool person, somebody I actually vibe with. Um, I want to get to somebody that I that I know very well. Like like I'm cool with them. Kind of like that. Like not like. I just want a real. Uh, he needs to be a real ass person. Oh. It, it, speak, speak for you. You good? Uh, he needs to be a real ass person. But what about job? I mean, yeah, no he, kids he, he, he or, or a, kids. You good? Yeah, yeah, you need to have a job. At least have a. I, I want the late. I, I want the ladies. The ladies that are watching this. I want y'all to jump in the comments and help my girl, honey, out and tell yes. us some good qualifications that Please. men need to have in Please. order to get the goodies. You, because yes. you. <laughs> You, take, you at this point the way you answer the question, anybody gonna get the good answer. Yeah. Okay. So please, please help me out with that. Don't be yeah. scared to get on my ass. Tell me because yeah. I need to know. All right. Okay. So moving on, number thirteen. What's eight times four? Eight times four. Yes. Eight. 16, 24, 25, 26, 26. Oh, 13. Ain't it? Yeah. Okay. I ain't good with math like that. Okay. I ain't, I ain't that good at okay. math. Okay. They might tell your ass up in the comments. <laughs> Shit. Okay. okay. All right. I ain't the only one that ain't good at math. All right. You're right. You're right about that. <laughs> Number 14. How can you tell the difference between a lame from a real man? So, pretty much from a fuck nigga. Than a real nigga. How can you tell the difference? A real nigga, they actually care about you and they actually check on you and see how you're doing and they got a job and they take care of their responsibilities and stuff like that. A fake ass nigga is a nigga who will call you just to get some pussy or just to ask you for some money or some shit. Just to get their nut out. Don't got no job, living with their mama, living in a hotel or living with their ex-girlfriend, getting everybody in their mama pregnant. Okay. All right, we're going to leave it at that, and I'm going to let the comments uh, deal with it. Um, number 15, they say 95% of women have at least one twerk video of themselves in their phone. Do you have one? Oh, baby, I got a lot. Okay. <laughs> I got a lot. If so, can we see it? <laughs> I don't know if y'all can handle that. I'm sorry. You got a twerk video? Yeah, I got twerk videos, but... Uh, Oh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I can't show that. Mm -hmm. oh, so, so you're naked in the video? Oh, I ain't naked. I just don't have no, like, panties. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. That's <laughs> naked. Yeah, okay. So number 16. All right. You have to pick one of these guys to go on a date with. Oh. 50 Cent, Boosie, Young Boy, Elon Musk, Mark Zuckerberg, Donald Trump, Lil Yachty, Drake, Sauce Walker, Samuel Jackson, Will Ferrell, Lil Duval, Rick Ross, Country Wayne, Matthew McConaughey, Drewski, or The Rock? Pick one. Pick one? Yeah, the only one. Fifty. I love Fifty. I do. Okay. I love him. All right. Okay, so Fifty Cent it is. Mm -hmm. All right. Number seventeen. What are three major turnoffs about a man? When they try to force themselves on you, okay. when they always begging, and when they're not responsible. Gotcha. Number 18, name one board game invented by a black woman. You don't know, so I'm going to answer for you. Whammo, bam, check it out. Everybody watching this video, go purchase Whammo. I'll put the link in the description. Purchase the Whammo game from the young lady Oni Monifa Burrell. Oh no, last name has changed. But that's my cousin, and she is the first only black woman I know who invented the board game. All right, we're going to that game. All right, yes, we're going to support my cousin. Of course. Big, big Mo. Big, big Oni, not the little one. 
So yeah, y'all go and uh, support my girl. Uh, I'm gonna drop the game in here, drop the description, everything I need to drop. I'm really rushing right now, so I'm tongue tied because we press for time, and I'm tired as hell, and I know you're tired. Mm -hmm. So uh, next question, uh, number nineteen. What is one hundred times twenty? Is it 2,000? 24? Girl, I ain't doing all that. Okay. There you go. You good. You good. You good. <laughs> all right. Number 20. What are two things that are... Oh, it's 200? What are two things that really motivate you in life? Um, my sister and my mama. Gotcha. All right. Number 21. Do you remember your first time having sex? Where? Do you remember where your first time having sex was? Was it special or not? Yeah, I remember my first time and it was very special. It was with my boyfriend, well, a boyfriend that mm -hmm. I was with for four years. And where was this intercourse happening? It happened at his house. Okay. We took it slow, of course, because no. It hurt, but it was real special. He, he took it slow instead of trying to force that thing in there. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> well, look, man, that wraps up the game. All right. So I want to thank you, and we will continue to do your interview so that we can get it all out and everyone can hear your story. Okay? Okay. I really enjoyed it. Sorry for the rushing, but it's what, about 3 in the morning, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning? Yeah. 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 We gotta go. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Thanks for tuning in to RB3 TV.